we're going to look at how to deal with your tabs. Actually, actually, let me back up just a moment. What I'm personally starting to see from clients is requests for, I need to train new people. We need to put into process some, uh, some sales uh, data models. Um, so what we're actually starting to see is, uh, it seems the economy seems to be um, getting back on track just the littlest bit. As a matter of fact, uh, we've been contracted to be doing a lot of sales reports lately, which is a vast departure from the reports we were doing six months ago, which were mostly um, who's not making the phone calls they were supposed to. So we're all very hopeful. So I thought I would take this webinar and just show you guys how to make the gold mine working environment a little nicer, a little better for that end user and, and certainly for ourselves. So we're, we're going to be talking about the tabs. Uh, what do I mean by the tabs? I mean the uh, the tabs on the bottom of the contact record. I'm also talking about the tabs within the gold mine software application. I'm going to show you how to also increase the number of recently viewed contacts along the left hand side in gold mine. Very, very handy. I use this daily. And then we're going to take some, some careful time and uh, investigate how to remove menu items from an end user's gold mine. And uh, this actually has, has, has two uh, ideas behind it. We want to remove the sharp tools from anyone who might hurt themselves or our database. And we also want to make the gold mine environment a little more friendlier uh, towards that, that beginning end user. And we're also going to look at tagging records, which is something fairly new uh, with the newer gold mines. Tagging records is a nice way to kind of uh, manage and deal with contact records and if we have some time we'll take a short look at SMS text messaging out of gold mines. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay so when we think about tabs in gold mine uh, I'm talking about two separate sets of tabs. What we're talking about here is that we have this set of tabs here along the top uh, edge of our gold mine application and what this actually is is as you open up items you'll see here I'm opening up like a calendar mail opportunities project service things like that you'll see that as I open up child windows they'll remain their own tabs much in the same way the contact search center does uh, those of you who have been on the newer gold mine um, certainly are, are accustomed to this what I would like to show you is that for those of you who uh, came from the older gold mines and um, like to see your child windows, like to get away from this tab interface, you can actually click this little uh, tab here with the four windows on it. And what that does is that gets back our child window style. See right now we can actually move tabs around, or windows around rather, so we can see uh, two items on the same screen, for instance. If we ever want to get our tabbed interface back, all we have to do is just maximize any con any, any window, any window at all. So again, we go to our window interface, and all we have to do to go back to our tabs is to just maximize any window. Why this can be particularly useful is uh, in the following. If I go to window and then select new contact window, what that allows me to do is now see two contact records on the screen at the same time. I gotta be honest, not a real hot item, but it is very handy to know how to do this, especially if you have a lot of duplicate records to deal with in your database and if you're just trying to assess uh, the, uh, the cleanliness of your contact records in general. A very handy function. Uh, keep in mind that when you are looking at, at two contact records uh, at once, Remember, Goldmine really wants a quote-unquote current contact record. So whatever we select here, whether it be complete an appointment or schedule a call, it's going to affect the current contact record. And when we have more than one contact record viewable, the current one is the one that is in the foreground, the one that is highlighted. Kind of hard to see on my color scheme, but you can see here right now Justin's the, uh, the current and now Corey's the current. To close one of our new contact windows all we need to do is just X out one of them 
and again to get back to our tabbed interface all we need to do at this point is just maximize any window pretty handy also while we're talking about tabs of course we have the good old gold mine tabs on the bottom edge here now uh, to be honest I've never seen everybody anyone rather use a hundred percent of their tabs typically um, the, 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 the typical uh, bear with a picnic basket ends up using about four or five different tabs to remove tabs from view and this can really help that beginning end user a lot especially if they're when they're thrown into a new job they're thrown into, into gold mine they have to learn all these different things uh, a really nice thing to do is to be able to just remove some of these non-used items from people's view things like additional contacts very rarely used nowadays the GM plus view if you're not using it remove it so oh I think I just blew up my computer with my GM plus view bear with me which is always a nice reason to remove that GM plus view if you're not using it if it's not configured correctly uh, yeah it, it can cause some serious uh, program issues bear with me guys of course computers never lock up right oh boy boy here's a good lesson if you ever get really stuck in goldmine if goldmine is just not responding and just won't come back all you have to do is bring up your task manager right click here and go to start task manager and then we can go to our processes tab and what we would actually be looking for there I'm going to show you hold on a moment a little added bonus this morning how to get rid of a locked up gold mine what you actually do is when you bring up this task manager and you go to your processes you're looking for GMW for those of you on older versions of gold mine it might say GMW 6 or GMW 7 but either way, GMW is what we're after, and we can always select that puppy and end the process and get back to our gold mine by restarting it. So, we were looking at these tabs. To remove these tab items, we can actually click on this little uh, slim arrow here and then go to Customize. And what this allows us to do is not only um, pick and choose what tabs we want to see on the bottom edge, we can actually uh, move the order of the tabs around so for instance let's get rid of that nasty GM plus view let's get rid of additional contacts hardly anyone uses that anyway I actually like my summary tab to be the first tab on my strip and then I have history and then pending uh, maybe I want fields right after summary so on and so forth and now I have a, a much more streamlined a more concise a little friendlier tab strip on the bottom the reason why I like to have that summary tab hanging out there on the left hand edge is because that's that's kind of like my home whenever I'm looking at a contact record I, I typically am spending time between the summary tab and the history tab because the summary tab lets me know uh, who was the last person to touch this record and when did they touch it so I know if this phone number is 555 5555 I know that someone's been there screwing around and I can call up Justin and say, hey, Justin, what the heck were you doing? At any rate, um, and, and it seems like the, the easiest and the simplest thing, but I'm telling you, if you go here to your customize, and for your, especially for the new end users, do not be afraid to remove the tabs that people aren't using, even if maybe you have a corporate policy uh, in effect to use a tab, and if someone's not using it right away, remove it from them. Throw as little as possible at them at once okay let's move on recently viewed contacts this is our recently viewed contacts pane you can see here that the way we fill this list is we simply look at people so I can actually as I look at people in the database that's going to actually add people to my most recently viewed list here and I can very easily just single click on items here to go to those records let me give you a, a better taste here I'm going to open up my actually my production database and right here my most recently viewed contacts list this is kind of like my hot list these, these would be record these, these would actually be my my top 100 clients typically so this is a very nice way to um, 
be able to kind of see who I've been looking at, who I've been working with. I'm going to open up my training database again. So how do I get more than like the, the 10 or 11 people we're seeing here? This is actually a user preference. So I'm going to go into tools and then down to options and then on the system tab. And right here, I can specify exactly how many recent items I'd like to see. It actually comes default, I think, with like 11 or 12. Pump that baby right up to 100 if you want. Or, no, 99, sorry. 99 is the highest we can go. A very nice feature indeed. Okay, let's look at removing menu items this is actually something that that's come up quite a bit uh, in the last month or so like I said we have a lot of clients training new staff putting into uh, process uh, new data models things of that nature so uh, what they what they don't want the end user to, to do is say they want to tell the end user listen we want you to complete phone calls when you make a phone call we want you to complete it in history so the end user says, okay, great, how do I do that? Well, you go to your complete menu, and you go to unscheduled call, and you go to one of these two items, outgoing or incoming call. But then they're going to see these other items here in their complete menu. Well, what about other action? When do I use that? What about event? When do I use that? What about a to-do? When do I use that? And, and uh, frankly, i got to be honest, no one uses 100%. Everyone uses close to 35 or 45%. So in order to shortstop some of that confusion, some of that sweating bullets, wondering what menu item to pick, we're going to make it really easy for the end user, and we're actually going to remove menu items from their gold mine. Let's actually log in as somebody else. Log in as good old Bob. And I'm going to open up the training database. There we go. Okay, so let's consider Bob's menu. Well, even more so than talking about taking away confusing items, what we really want to do is take away the sharp tool, 